Hey guys, welcome back to Simplify Mechanic. My name is Thomas. Today we got our 2001 Dodge Ram 1500. We're gonna go ahead and put a new belt tensioner pulley in. So get comfy, sit back, and let me show you how to do it. All right, we're jumping right into this. Right here's the belt tensioner. That's what we're replacing. But we got to remove this ignition coil right here, which is also held in by a bracket. The bracket's held in by two bolts. Both are 916 millimeter. There's one on top, and under here, there's one right there. You gotta remove them too. Now we're gonna take the belt off, so make sure you take a picture of the belt routing or make sure you have the diagram right here. Whatever you do, just make sure you know how to put it back on. Here we're grabbing our 15 millimeter wrench, we're putting it on our belt tensioner, and we're pushing upwards. That'll go ahead and create the slack so you can take the belt off. You don't have to take the belt all the way off, just take it off that one pulley. Here we are, this is the ignition wire. Go ahead and pull that off. This little clip, you just push in on the tab, and pull out. Go ahead and grab your wrench and your 916 socket. You can go ahead and loosen this top bolt. Usually after you loosen the top bolt, you'd move on to the bottom bolt. But we found out once our top bolt was loosened that the bracket and the coil was moving up and down and it shouldn't be doing that. But if you look underneath, our bolt is still there, but you can see that the bracket has sheared completely off. But the whole goal was to get to this 15 millimeter nut. This is what we need to take off to remove the belt tensioner. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab my cord right here. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around the coil and get it set up. This way I can just have it hanging up just like that so I have access to that uh, 15 millimeter nut. Just like this. Yeah, look at me. Happy with myself. So now I can get right here to this nut, which is the nut we need for the belt tensioner. Go ahead and spray some PB blaster on it. It's a 15 millimeter nut. A little bit of effort and you'll break this thing loose. Use your fingers and take it all the way out. And there it is. That is your belt tensioner. And as you can tell, look how far it's spinning. That means there's no resistance behind it. You can hear that the bearings are going out. Also, you'll have to reuse the old nut. A lot of the belt tensioners won't come with a new one. And as you can tell with this pulley, there's no noise. And when you spin it, it only goes around once or twice. Here I'm showing you the two notches. All you got to do is line them up. There's only one way that it goes. And I just want to tell you guys thank you because I know there's some of you guys watching this that do not own a Dodge Ram and that do not care about this belt tensioner. But you're supporting me anyway. But for the ones that do have the Dodge Ram, make sure you finger tighten this up. And then go ahead and grab you a 15 millimeter wrench. And we're going to go ahead and tighten it up. Now when you're tightening this up, you need to get it snug, but don't over tighten it because you don't want to strip it out or break the bolt. All right, now we got the belt tensioner in. We're going to go ahead and uh, put the coil and put the bracket back into place. Remember, yours is a little bit different because your bracket will not be broke. Mine is, so like I said, we had to rig it up. So we're going to go ahead and let this loose. Let our coil and bracket fall down into place. Throw this little gadget off to the side. Go ahead and get our socket and wrench. And we're going to tighten this uh, top bolt up. But keep it in mind, we got to keep that coil and the bracket lined up perfectly where they shear it off. And hopefully when we tighten the top one, that it'll keep it in place. And remember, this is just one of my mobile mechanic work videos, but I will still be doing a story time video once a week as well. So we'll try to do one live stream a week, one regular video like this a week, and then one story time video so we can mix it up a little bit. But it does feel good actually turning a wrench. I mean, hell, I was worried I forgot how to do it. As you can see, we got it lined up pretty good. See where the crack lines up right there. So hopefully that uh, that stays because we tightened it right up. So we're gonna go ahead and put the belt on. 
We'll turn the vehicle on, do a little test run, and see how it goes. But the serpentine bolt goes right on the same way, very easy. Then you go ahead and put the clip back in right here. Grab your wire, and make sure when you push it down that you hear it click. You'll hear an actual audible click. And there you go. All right, guys, that's it. We just put the new belt clincher in, the 2001 Dodge Ram 1500. Here's the old one. There's no resistance behind it, so it was bad. If you heard this truck before, it was very loud. But now, you can hear a faint, a faint squeal, and that's just the idler pulley, which I ordered, but I got tired of waiting for it to come in, so I was like, we gotta start some work. So I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Once we get the idler pulley in and get everything squeak free, then we'll move on down to the suspension part. If you'd like to support the channel and donate, I'll have my cash app, Venmo, and PayPal on the screen. You do not have to. I do not need anything. We're not begging. But if you would like to, you can. Also, at the bottom of the videos, you'll see a little thing called Super Thanks. A little money sign. It's like a tip jar. YouTube just sent it to me saying that we're eligible now. So you can actually donate a dollar, two dollars while you're actually watching the video. So you can check that out as well. But this is our first video of actually working on a vehicle in a long time. So I'm pretty happy that we're going to start putting some videos out that actually are worth a shit. So. so we'll get another video out. We'll get this vehicle running and then we'll get back into the mobile mechanic business. But thank you guys for being patient. And like always, Simplify it till next time.